Some of us are outwardly successful, but inwardly feel unhappy and living a life lacking in purpose and meaning. The Necktie and the Jaguar by Carl Greer can help you discover what's important to you and how to go for it. For more information or to purchase the book, visit carlgreer.com. That's C-A-R-L-G-R-E-E-R.com. Welcome to Postcards to the Universe with Melissa Caprio. Do you believe in magic? What if you were told that all you had to do was get a little creative and work a magic spell to bring anything you can imagine into your life? Here on Postcards to the Universe, we will share manifesting, tips, postcards, creativity, abundance, and prosperity. Here is your host, Melissa Caprio. Hello and welcome to Postcards to the Universe with Melissa, creating the life you crave. Happy November, everyone. How are you guys doing? I hope everybody is doing well. Um, Did you guys have a nice Halloween? We had a really nice Halloween this year. We had a little bit of a milder weather for us down here in the south, which was really nice. And last year was such a wash because of the pandemic and everything. And it it was one of those humid and hot days even though it was on a full moon last year. So nobody really did anything last year. So this year we got all into it. I dressed up as a witch. My sister, who is a makeup artist, did my makeup. And so it was lots of fun. And she did the whole Day of the Dead for on her and her husband. So we had a lot of fun. And the kids, it was great. It was really nice. I enjoyed it. I really did. <clears throat> So now we're in the season of Thanksgiving, so we're going to be talking a lot about gratitude this month. Um, I have the founder of Creative Compass, Hayden Starbuck, on with me today, and she's going to inspire us to tap into our inner artist and have fun, and she's going to join me in just a couple of minutes. Um, Welcome to my show. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, I am also an author, and my book is titled Postcards to the Universe, Harness the Universe's Power and Manifest your dreams. And there are 30 manifesting stories along with photographs that I took um, of, of the manifesting cards for, and, and I shared their stories in my book. My book has all of my pictures. Well, the whole book, I, they're not just manifesting postcards in the book. I have all my photos in the book. But what I liked um, about doing this is, is that people would send me these manifesting postcards. And then when their manifestation became their reality, I shared the photo I took next to their story. So that's what the book is about. And there's a whole bunch of writing exercises in there that can help you manifest um, on love and money and health and career and so much more. So if you're interested in uh, learning more about my book or doing some inner work exercises and reading these people's incredible journeys of transformation, please go to your favorite bookstore and purchase a copy. Now, each week I share a Magic Monday message. It's an image of a manifesting postcard that I photograph with an affirmation that I like to focus on for the week. I tap into the energy of that affirmation and keep repeating it to myself, kind of like a mantra, to increase its power to become a new belief that I incorporate into my life. And this week, the affirmation and the magic message is, I am worth it. And um, worthiness is a big one, I think. And I think it's a big one for most of us. I'm going to confidently say that, right? That most of us have or at least had at one time feelings of unworthiness. That we don't deserve the things that we say we want or that we dream about. And I want you to really consider... uh, how that has served you in the past, because I can tell you it hasn't, right? What if you believed you were worth it exactly as you are right now? Like, you don't have to do anything to be worth it. You just are worth it. Can you, can you see that? And we get these messages that we're not good enough, that I'm not worthy all the time throughout our whole lives. And we carry those stories with us. And usually what ends up happening is we manifest those things that match us on that vibration. So if we're feeling unworthy, which shows up for us or more things to be unworthy about, right? So we want to shift that. So worthiness is a big one, is a big one. Feeling good enough and worthy and deserving are huge. So 
think about your life and think about all that you contribute, just you, that nobody else can do, and, and, and really focus on those attributes about yourself, to feel your own worthiness, because you really want to feel it. And it takes practice. I always recommend mirror work. I've talked about it before, getting in front of the mirror, looking yourself in the eye and telling yourself that you love yourself and that you're worthy. Maybe, I don't know, for the rest of this month, why don't you make that a practice? Every morning, get in front of your mirror, look at your eyes, and tell yourself you're worth it. And just see what happens. Just see how you feel by the end of the month and let me know. And if you want to make a manifesting postcard around worthiness, that's fantastic. I have had a couple people uh, do that, and actually their lives have shifted dramatically. So if you need help with a manifesting postcard, just reach out to me and I can help you. And if you want to see the images of these Magic Monday messages with affirmations that I post each week, you can see them on my website, Postcards to the Universe, or any of my social media accounts because I post them each week. And you can also join me on my Facebook group if you so desire called Postcards of Love, where we share inspirational images and stories and especially animal stories. I'm always looking for cute, lovely animal stories because those make me so happy. So I think they make most people happy. Okay. <clears throat> so next week I have Dr. Amanda Barentes, the founder of NFA, which means no effing around money. She helps coaches and online entrepreneurs experience money-making breakthroughs using her proprietary NFA moneymaker methods. Higher profits are guaranteed. After going from food stamps to building a six-figure business, business is fast, she's been driven to teach business builders strategies to, strategies to make more money doing exactly what they love to do. So that's going to be really exciting to help us make more money, especially with the holidays coming up, right? We all need more of that. <clears throat> all right, to get to my guest today, I'm excited to talk to her. So Hayden Starbuck has earned her living as a creatrix for the last 25 years. Her biggest achievement is creating a life she loves. She lives and breathes creativity, be it dog raising, conversations, her work, or the stories she tells to and about herself. Her number one personal goal is to have fun. She delights in sharing her passion for creativity and play, especially helping people explore and honor their unique creative voices. She does this by helping people step into their creative flow by shifting their relationship to block, to blocks, inner and outer critics, and the dreaded inner perfectionist all, we all have, right, while having fun. She believes that the world would be a healthier place if we tapped into our individual creative magic. She is here to fan the flames of a creative revolution, ready to play with your inner creatrix. She says, play with her at creatrixcompass.com. That's C-R-E-A-T-R-I-X-C-O-M-P-A-S-S.com. Welcome, Hayden. Thanks so much for being here with me today. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Happy. Excited. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to play. <laughs> so how are you doing? How are you doing? Really good. And I love that you mentioned um, dog story or animal stories in the beginning, because I've got a dog here that's just like, come on, let's play. Why are you on a silly podcast? <laughs> I know you have a whole thing on your website from your dog, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, you have a whole thing from your dog. Can't you ask? Can't yeah. we can't we like ask your dog questions and see what answers we get? <laughs> exactly. He's got a, a kind of a very superficial advice column. But I just realized that humans make things super complicated and he's ready to go anytime. Just let's let's go. Let's have fun. And I just thought I have so much to learn from him. So yes, he gives advice when you're taking your life too seriously. Yeah, and dogs are always great at that. Um, all right, so why don't you explain what being a creatrix is and and what is creatrix compass? Because that's what your your um, brand is. That's what your website is. That's who you are. Right. Um, so being a creatrix, I mean, you can take it in the traditional sense of I'm a painter or photographer or screenwriter or whatever. But really the heart of us as humans is that we create. I mean, the whole life that you have around you is because you chose it. You went out and got it. You made it happen. You are a creative. So for me, Creatrix Compass is about 
finding that place inside yourself and using that as your guide to creating a future or creating the present. We live in the present. Let's create the present. Right. Right. Yeah. We live <laughs> so in it's the kind pre- of that yeah. simple, you know? Well, we live in the present, but on, but do we live in the present? That's a good point because oh, well. usually, because usually our minds are in the past or in the future. And I think that's part of where oh. we're not living creativity creatively because we're not present. Silly human. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm as guilty as the rest. I just have to say. I know. <laughs> Me it's too. It's easy to fall into those pits of despair and, you know, all that sort of stuff. But in an ideal situation, you're tapping into your, your magical powers and you're, you know, like you dressed up for as a witch for Halloween. You're mm-hmm. getting out there and doing your thing and it makes you happy, which has a ripple effect into the rest of the world. Yes. <laughs> right. Right. And you, and you, I like that you put this on, I saw this on your website. You wrote, creativity is spirit in action. And this is Mm. you, I'm quoting you. When I'm in the flow of work, it is not just me who controls my hands, my actions, my ideas. No, there is something greater flowing through me. Call her muse, call her spirit, call her what you will, but she is strong and she is so delightfully fun to play with. So you like channel your inner create tricks i think if you talk to any creative person yeah they have to physically get themselves to the thing that they're about to do but once they're in it once they're really and truly working and things are going well there is a higher power there's a cosmic connection Mm -hmm. i don't know what you want to call it but there's there's something else going on it's 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 bigger than us little tiny humans yeah, for sure. Were you always? Did you always incorporate um, play and fun in your life, or is it something that you had to come to um, that you came to later on because you realized maybe something was missing, or you weren't as happy as you could be? Like, how did that come about? Ah, <sighs> you know, I I think before I got into the school system, I think yeah that was a huge part of who I was. Then I got distracted by the whole societal thing of, you know, do this, do that, jump through those hoops, sit in this box, that sort of thing. So somewhere in my early adulthood, I just came back to it and said, hang on. Okay, I played your game. (laughs) I did all the stuff you expected me to do. Now it's my time. What do, what do I want? What, what lights me up? And, and here again, I'm still human. So I can fall back into those ruts of, Ah, uh, sure. taking it all too seriously and whatnot. But if I come back to that happy place, it's just, oh, it's so good. And that's me. I feel like that's the authentic me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Were you in the, were you in a different kind of work? Like, were you in the corporate world or were you always no. a creative, no. like an artist? <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I always knew that I didn't want to be chained to a desk. Corporate never crossed my mind that I, okay. I don't even yeah. Um, so me I neither. Don't... Me neither. So that's <laughs> yes. why I ask. Yeah, no, I was always seeing not that. recovering. <laughs> <laughs> no, not recovering. Um, yeah, yeah. So I don't. I don't. It took me a while to choose to specifically be a creatrix as a profession, mm-hmm. but I did wander around, you know, the universe trying to figure out what I wanted to do and not committing to big things like corporations and all of that. Yeah. So, <laughs> Why? Do, yeah, right. Why do you think like so many adults are so serious and like they don't they don't like make the time for creativity, you know, like they that's always the last thing on their list. You know, it's mm-hmm. like I got to, you know, work and family and exercise and stuff. But like creativity and play is if it's even on their list. Right. As adults. I mean, it's, oh, it's the top thing on every kid's list. Every kid, mm-hmm. the top thing mm-hmm. is, is play and creativity. Right. <laughs> that's well, number I one. That, right. Exactly. I was going to say, I think that's exactly it. I think that we got so socialized that we forgot who we started off as. I mean, you, you put a little kid in front of a band, they're going to mm-hmm. wiggle. <laughs> mm-hmm. You put crayons in a kid's hand they're going to decorate your walls. Yeah. Hopefully you'll give them some paper so they don't do that. But, you know, we're just, that's just who we are. And I 
think, I don't know, we just did some kind of social contract that said, hey, let's stifle that part of ourselves. And I, I don't know why a lot of people choose that. I'm, I'm sorry that they do. And I hope they can change, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, I think we feel like we have to, you know, if we play or we get creative, it's like, you know, society, oh, you're wasting time. You're not serious. You know, you, you know, you're not a kid anymore. You know, kind of those messages come at us and, and they're so detrimental because I think, which obviously I know you think too, is the playing and the creating is what's feeding my soul. And what feeds mm -hmm. my soul is what expands. And then it makes my light expand. Mm -hmm. And imagine if even just 20, 30, 40, 50% of us were doing that, how different things would be on this planet. Mm -hmm. I dream of a hundred percent, but you know, yeah. <laughs> we'll start with, <laughs> right. start with a more reasonable number. <laughs> when you were just <laughs> speaking a minute ago, something that came to uh, just flashed in my mind was, who do you think you are? And mm -hmm. I don't know if somebody said that to me or mm -hmm. whatever, but I, I, I think there's this, uh, again, a societal contract or something that it's like, no, if you want to be an adult and you want to be taken seriously, then you need to do X, Y, Z and mm -hmm. play just I don't know why we don't think that's important well that's why we have people like you talking about it today so <laughs> we can talk about how it is important we and we're going to learn why it's important and how that can open up our life so we're at our first um uh spot for our break at the 20 minute mark so let's take our break here and then when we come back we're going to delve into creativity and play stay tuned Conscious Media for Conscious Minds. Ohm Times. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Hi. I'm Melissa Caprio from Postcards to the Universe, creating the life you crave. Do you believe in magic? What if I told you all you had to do was get a little creative and work a dream spell to bring anything you can imagine into your life? Well, guess what? I've got the spell for you. Postcards to the Universe, a global movement for manifestation, is a casting magical tool for you to use whenever you want. How does living in passion sound to you? Join me in my movement where you get to create in the magical playground. Let's think outside the box and do some playful conjuring. By casting out our desires with a manifesting postcard, we explore our hearts and allow the alchemy of our dreams to appear. And don't forget to tune in each week here on Ohm Times Radio with my show, Postcards to the Universe, Creating the Life You Crave at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. I share tips on creativity, abundance, and prosperity, and you will be introduced to the coolest guests, trailblazers, mystics, and creatives who enrich our lives. My name is Victor Furman. Some call me The Voice. I've always been fascinated with human nature, spirituality, science, and the crossroads at which they meet. Join me Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio, and we'll explore these topics and so much more on Destination Unlimited. The rainbow is God's promise of hope for you and me. And though the clouds hang heavy and the sun we cannot see, we know above the dark clouds that fill the stormy sky, Hope's rainbow will come shining through when the clouds have drifted by. Teresa Caprio is the president and founder of Rainbow Guardian Inc., a nonprofit 501c3 serving the intellectually challenged slash developmentally disabled, including autism. Teresa started the foundation in 1995 so she could help make a better life for her intellectually challenged daughter. 
Her dream is that the Rainbow Guardian will provide the necessary tools and education to help the public understand the special needs population because it's often discarded in mainstream society. To find out more or make a donation in support, please go to www.rainbowguardian.org. Rainbow Guardian's special mission is to see these unique people live a happy, full life and have a future of liberty and equality. Welcome back. I have the founder of Creatrix Compass, Hayden Starbuck, on with me today. And we're talking about being the artist in our life, right? Awakening our inner artist. So <clears throat> what is awakening our inner artist? I mean, because a lot of people will be listening today and they're like, I'm no artist. I don't have a creative <laughs> bone in my body, right? That's a lot of people say that I've heard. So what do you say to those people? Well, and that's exactly why... I started down this path in this business is because so many people do think that. And yet the fact of the matter is you are an artist. So the first thing I would recommend is, ah, you know, it's throughout your day. Look at what is bringing you pleasure that you're doing. Some people love mm-hmm. to decorate their houses or get dressed in the morning. I mean, makeup. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm thinking women here, but So many people do so many things that bring them pleasure, and that's very creative. Um, But for me, what I love to do is to go back to what brought me joy as a kid, Mm -hmm. because those things still bring me joy. (laughs) So if you can find a way to bring that back into your day, you know, even five minutes a day, do something, bubbles, um, skipping, (laughs) And I know some of the, the they sound Skipping. like Oh my God. You know, I haven't skipped in, <laughs> I can't even imagine how right? long it's been since I skipped, but or, I do remember skipping and doing hopscotch as a kid a lot. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And that doesn't, on the surface, that doesn't seem creative, mm-hmm. but it's sort of a gateway activity because right. once you step out of your own way, kind of set that ego down, that social contract down and just mm-hmm. play then it's, it's just going to spark other things that I, you know, just, just try it. Test, yeah. test the theory. Let me know. <laughs> test the theory. Well, you say that um, you make a statement, you give yourself permission to play again. And mm. I think it's interesting that you say that. It's like we have to give ourselves permission to do it because – As kids, we don't have to give ourselves permission. We just play. We Mm. wake up and we see whatever is holding our interest, and that's what we're playing with, right? But as adults, we have to to tap back into that. I think at first, you do have to give yourself permission to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, we're focused on paying the bills, make sure the kids Mm -hmm. have their lunches and get off to school. And, you know, it's almost like you have to schedule it in. And you've heard people say that schedule in me time or schedule in nurturing time. It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's one of those. It's that, that, that part of you that needs to be taken care of and appreciated and loved. And oh, you'll just feel better if you play. I mean, think about the last time you just lost yourself in a moment. How good did you feel afterwards? Your whole, mm-hmm. The whole rest of your day was better, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And rip, well, again, ripple effect. Your whole family, your whole community will feel that if you're enjoying your life. It's true. It's contagious. It is. Happiness is contagious. It really, really is. Um, And that's true. And I I know when I'm into doing something creative, when I'm making a a photograph or um, setting something up, I lose I totally get into it. Like I lose so much mm-hmm. time and, and I'm, I'm in the zone, you know, and I love it. I love being in the zone like mm-hmm. that. I imagine you do the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, you're not worried about, you know, what's for dinner, the doctor's appointment next week, mm-hmm. or, you know, you're just, mm-hmm. it's you in that moment, enjoying that thing you're doing. And that's, that's the most beautiful thing. Yeah. Yeah. You tell people, give mm. yourself permission to enjoy life again. So what, right. do you, so, yeah, so what is your, like, 
what does your day look like? Like, like if somebody, you know, said, oh, well, I do, you know, I, I, I get up and I go and I work out in the morning and then I go to work all day. And so working out is, you know, my play. And I would say, well, hmm, is it? Or <laughs> is it, is it really? another obligation that you feel like you have to do to keep your body healthy, but is it something you're really enjoying? Now, obviously, if you're really enjoying it, then yes, it, right. you can consider right. that. But a lot of people work out because they just, you know, they feel like they have, they have to work to. out, right? <laughs> and it's not the same. A it's have to same. is not play. <laughs> we yeah, should say I, that. I, yeah. And again, I'm a human, so if, if mm -hmm. I need reminders, I've always had a dog that if mm -hmm. I've spent too much time working, they come and get me. It's like, right. come on, mom, let's go. So I get my pleasure from being in nature. Often mm -hmm. I have a camera with me. And mm -hmm. especially right now, we're in fall. So there's just mushrooms <sighs> coming up. I mean, I think on my property alone, I must have more than 18. So I, I, I should count them. But it, it's, it's just beautiful. There's so much to explore. And I think I really tap into that kid mind, that curiosity, mm -hmm. that wonder, that that, like anything's possible. Look at what a cool planet we live on. Yeah, and that, I'm, that, oh. <laughs> yeah. I am <laughs> so, so jealous when I hear people say it's fall and it's so beautiful. <laughs> Every year at this time, my jealousy meter goes up a thousand percent because <laughs> we just do not have that. And I, it's my favorite time. I, I was born in the Northeast. Oh, I remember it as a kid. And anytime we do get to go up to the Northeast, we usually go in the fall time. And it's just, it, uh -huh. oh, so, and I'm a Even photographer. The air so. changes. Yes. You know, there's, there's like, there's just, there's something that just shifts. And I mm -hmm. love that, that first day when you're like, oh my God, that smells like fall. I yes. Mm. Yes. Mommy. It, it, and yeah, it sparks you. It gets your creative juices flowing. And as a photographer like you, I would be out with my camera uh -huh. and I would be photographing and yeah, and doing that stuff <laughs> for sure. So Absolutely. how, um, how do you like help people because you offer courses actually to teach people. I mean, I was, is it a course? I mean, I guess it's a course, right? To teach people how to tap into their creative artist or inner artist and how to play. Yeah. I've, I've come about it from a couple of different ways. Either mm -hmm. you can go through the process of creating something so that mm -hmm. you learn through some people need step-by-step -step doing, but my favorite is, is just like we were saying, the hopscotch and the skipping and all mm -hmm. that. I, I provide a bunch of prompts for you to just, you know, three minutes a day, just go do something different than how you do it now. And I, you know, I think we get into a rut. Mm -hmm. And then we don't, we don't think and we don't expand beyond that. And so just by shifting a little tiny thing, but, you know, rearranging the, the food on your plate or something, it might lead to, oh, I need to rearrange the furniture in my house or, you know, it's just, mm -hmm. it's, again, that ripple effect. If you change one small thing, it's going to open you up to changing a lot of things and it's building a habit. So to have it be mm -hmm. for, you know, maybe four months is, is perfect by then you're, you're like, hey, I, I'm an artist. <laughs> I'm creative. So, oh, okay. So it's a four month program. So if somebody wanted, if somebody's listening and said, you know, my life, especially during this pandemic, people have been stuck mm. inside. I mean, I, you know, even though I'm going out more now, I'm still not going out very often at all, you know, so I'm still being super cautious. Mm -hmm. Everybody I know around me is the same. So so yeah, this is great. That's a great idea. So you do four months. Now, is it like um, a couple times a week? An e people get an email. Are they online videos? Like, what what does it look like? You're awake and you're an yeah. artist. Yeah, that specific one is uh, mm -hmm. seven prompts for for four months, and you just any you can do them all in one day if you want because they're all short, or you mm -hmm. can do one a day, whatever you want, and it's it's all self guided. So. It's kind of it's it's like planting seeds throughout your life. To kind and it of, comes in any, it comes in an email like you get an email yep, prompt yep. like hey today yep. why don't you can you just share one one what what like one prompt would be just so people can have an idea. 
Oh my gosh. Um, oof, it's been a while since I created this. So I, <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I, I think, okay, so for some reason, <laughs> I, I've got this image of an astronaut. So I think one of them was, you know, you're, you're taking a vacation off planet. What are you mm. going to eat? What are you going to see? What are you going to do? And I mean, your imagination is so fast. You probably mm-hmm. already have the scenario figured out in your head. Mm-hmm. But if you, if you wanted, you could create something from that. So uh, it, it's just getting out of your own way, you know, or a shopping yeah. list where you, you add things to it that, that are different. <laughs> Instead of just tomatoes, maybe you need a little, I don't know, something else. I, yeah. So you, it sounds like you give people ideas of maybe just a different way to approach something or mm-hmm. look at something or do something like totally outside the box, right? Yeah. Like something that, that yeah. you wouldn't normally do to kind of get us back into our inner, our inner child and our inner artist. Yeah. Go have a conversation with somebody you pass every day that you've never spoken to, which I know COVID, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, people in offices, there's probably someone they've never spoken to. I bet you have something in common with them that you don't know, or they collect interesting things that you don't know about. Hmm. And on the surface, again, this doesn't seem creative, but it's part of that whole opening up and Mm -hmm. just connecting and seeing the world in a different way. That's what creativity is about. It's not seeing things as you've always seen them and gotten the results you've gotten. It's seeing things in a different way so you get different results, which is fabulous. Which is, yeah, because that's what makes life fun. I mean, you know, we're not meant to... I don't know, just drudge through every day and like, oh, you know, oh, it's <laughs> six o'clock again. Got to get up. Got to go to work. <laughs> Got to eat I'm the same little, food. <laughs> like the little right. mouse on that wheel that goes around and around. And it's yes. like, okay, I'm just going to hang out on this wheel till I die. This is fun. <laughs> right. Like counting down like the, the days. It's like, all right, now I'm like 50. God, how many more years of this do I have? You know, that's a really sad <laughs> terrible but that's really sad and we don't we don't want to be that so no. we want to learn how to tap into our creativity more and anybody can be creative in any area correct absolutely, absolutely. and the thing i will say is that especially in a program like this i throw out a whole bunch of stuff there's movement there's painting there's photography whatever you're not going to like it all and that's okay, but it's finding right. the things that you like, the things that light you up, the things right. that ah, just just excite you, you know? I mean, everybody knows that feeling of being just like, oh my gosh, I can't wait, we're going to go do this and that, and mm-hmm. it's tapping into that and having access to it on command, basically. Yeah, hmm. yeah. No, you're right. You're not going to like, everybody's <laughs> not going to like everything because, nope. I mean, I I – painting is not my favorite. I'm not very good at it (laughs) at all. (laughs) I love photography is my first choice, you know, and now that I've gotten into writing, I like writing now, you know, I'm working on my second book. So it's almost finished. I can't believe it. Right. And it has photography in it, of course. Um, But that lights me up working on that, you know, because I'm Mm -hmm. totally Mm -hmm. tapping into my creativity and I like um, sketching with pencil. Like I like, I like doodle sketching with pencil. It means not, it doesn't even necessarily mean anything. Like it might not even be creating anything specific, but just the act of the pencil in my hand and the paper and the doodle sketching mm-hmm. does something. Mm-hmm. There's, this brings up for me the fact that creating is almost like a meditation. So when you're mm-hmm. doodling, your brain is taking a break. You know, it's just leisurely following the pencil around the page. Mm -hmm. And I have to say from doodling, actually every single tattoo I have came from doodles. I'm just hanging out, (laughs) doodling. I'm like, hey, if I change this, stick that on my body. (laughs) We're good to go. No, doodling is really healthy for the brain. Oh, good to know. I always did like doodling. Yeah, I always (laughs) did like doodling. 
Yeah, it really is. I always did like it. I did it in school, all throughout school. Um, yeah. And I do it did you get, sometimes. It, yeah, even when I'm watching did television you get reprimanded? sometimes. Well, I mean, sure, did the teachers, of course. Were they like, well, well depending. Yeah, it depends on which class. <laughs> like if it was math class, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, even if I'm sitting in front of the television, yeah. sometimes I'll just have a, I'll have something, you know, like a little notebook or whatever. Yeah, a lot of times yeah. I doodle in my cal. I have a journal slash calendar, <laughs> and I doodle in that a lot. Mm -hmm. I uh, how I don't know what the percentage is, but how many hours do we spend in front of the TV now? I know they have whole statistics on that, but yeah, right where you sit to watch TV, put mm -hmm. a bunch of art supplies. Just mm, stick them there. See what happens. I mean, a lot of women knit, right? Or men, mm -hmm. sorry. Men knit as well. I just happen to yes, see women. Yes, yes, they do. Yeah, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. perfect yeah, right. time. Because TV does not take all of your attention. <laughs> you know, you, you mm -hmm. actually, a lot of creative people that are not writers, while they're working in their studio, they'll put on books on tape or movies mm -hmm. or just some kind of storyline so that that part of their brain is off almost like babysitting your, your, um, I your do that too. Your... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm a big audio book person oh, and I find, I yeah, I am too. <laughs> I find, <laughs> um, I find creating and organizing my, um, artist space while I'm listening to an oh. audio book is very so yummy. Yeah, it is. That's a good word for it. It's it's yummy because <laughs> yummy. I'm not necessarily creating a piece of artwork, but I am in my creative energy when I'm doing that. Right. Yeah, well, I like that. And I think I think too it's it's you have to set the stage. It's not mm -hmm. like you step into your studio and then you paint that magnificent masterpiece. It's it's right. a whole series of events. So getting your studio ready. I mean, it's like a ritual, right? Yes, I love rituals. Ready, and I'm mm -hmm. going to honor the fact that I show up and I do beautiful work here. And it, it's, a, mm -hmm. it's a dance. It's this gorgeous, magical dance. But yeah. every part of it is good. Including uh, yeah. that. <laughs> including that. Oh, good. All right. Well, we're, we're, we're at our uh, second break. So why don't we take our second break here? Right. And then we'll come back and we'll continue our conversation. Stay tuned. The Real Conscious Connection, Ohm Times Radio, IOM FM. Ohm Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment, a philanthropic organization. Their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Ohm Times. Co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. Imagine yourself being transported to India, to the banks of the Ganga, and an ashram in Rishikesh. Visualize that you are welcome to satsang with an American sannyasi who shares the wisdom of her guru. Your visualization has manifested. Join Satvi Bhagawati Saraswati for inspiration and transformation every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern on Om Times Radio. Hi, I'm Melissa Caprio from Postcards to the Universe, creating the life you crave. Do you believe in magic? What if I told you all you had to do was get a little creative and work a dream spell to bring anything you can imagine into your life? Well, guess what? I've got the spell for you. Postcards to the Universe, a global movement for manifestation, is a casting magical tool for you to use whenever you want. How does living in passion sound to you? Join me in my movement where you get to create in the magical playground. Let's think outside the box and do some playful conjuring. By casting out our desires with a manifesting postcard, we explore our hearts and allow the alchemy of our dreams to appear. And don't forget to tune in each week here on Ohm Times Radio with my show, Postcards to the Universe, Creating the Life You Crave at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. I share tips on creativity, abundance, and prosperity, and you will be introduced to the coolest guests, trailblazers, mystics, and creatives who enrich our lives. 
Coping 19, brought to you by CDC and the Ad Council. If you're feeling increasingly lonely right now, you're not alone. It's totally normal. Even though we may not be able to get together in person, connecting virtually with friends and family still gives you a chance to interact with people and may help raise your spirits. Join a virtual book club, set up group text chats, or online video coffee breaks with coworkers. Find more self-care and coping tips at coping-19.org. Welcome back. So Hayden, um, I was just thinking during the break about awakening our inner artist. And we were saying like, you know, you even said it's a great tip actually when you're sitting in front of the TV because how much more TV are we watching now than we ever did before, <laughs> right? I'm so Netflix much. Netflix loves like, us. Oh my God, Netflix, Hulu. I'm like, I binge watch when I find a show. To have you art, like, yeah, like a pen and pencils there or uh, knitting, you know, tools. If you like to knit, just to do something to tap into that creativity. What does that do to our brains? Hello, Hayden, are you there? Did I lose you? Mm, I don't hear her. Oh, okay. Um, well, I don't hear her any longer. I think her energy is so good. Okay, well, Hayden, if you're listening, why don't you try to call back in and I'm going to talk. I'm going to keep talking since we are on the radio. Um, <clears throat> she was saying, for those of you who were listening before the uh, break, that um, using the time that we sit in front of our television is a great time to also tap into our creativity. And... And what I like to do is I sketch with a, um, I'm not great with paints or watercolors or anything like that. I have some friends who are magnificent artists and they can do that, but I like, great. Hayden, are you back? I am for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I can't hear you guys all of a sudden. I don't know what. That's okay. I can no, hear. Like I was car. just talking. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Art. Your energy. You're vibrating too high. You just that flew right that. off. <laughs> oh, my poor phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I was saying that oh, for goodness. me, it's like I like, uh, you know, the the pencils and sketching. Yeah. Um, and you were saying, and, I, and what I asked was before you went away is what does that do to our brain when we're just sitting there doodling, sketching, knitting, you know, oh. not thinking? What does that it's do? Strange, strangely enough, even just us talking about it, I can feel my whole body relaxing. Mm. It just, it takes you into, I mean, I'm not sure we have really experienced what all of our brain has to offer. So there's something okay. about creativity and I, I'm not a brain scientist, but I think it connects. Yeah, I think it connects too. I definitely do. I mean, we need to make time to play and take time to create, don't you think? Oh boy, did we lose her again? <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's flying. She, she's, she's flying so high she can't connect to the ground. <laughs> Hayden, are you there? Mm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I would try doing it again. I'm sorry, guys, who are listening to the show, because I know we are live. Um, but, you know, hey, it happens sometimes. Um, just try calling, hanging up and calling back in, and we'll see. Um, <clears throat> but um, when, see what happens is, is then I get distracted and lose my train of thought, so but we're going to just go with our creativity. So one of the things that I like to do uh, to tap into the, my creativity is on Fridays, I take every Friday, every week, is the day that I use to create my manifesting magic postcard. So it's become a whole ritual. Um, Hayden and I were talking about, she was saying, you know, it's kind of, when you when you're being creative, it is being in like doing like a ritual. I um, have made it now a ritual. I set the time aside for myself. I set up a postcard, so I, I get manifesting postcards. I haven't been getting as many as I used to, 
since COVID. So if you guys who are listening right now um, want to send one, if you're looking, you know, the world is opening back up and you want to manifest something, please send me a manifesting postcard because I'll photograph it. And when your story becomes your reality, I can share it. <clears throat> so what I'm doing Do is... I have, oh, I heard her for a second. Are Are you you there? Do I have time to to manifest a a postcard that makes my phone reception better? (laughs) I don't know. What's going on out there? The Claret. I I don't know. It's so weird. Bizarro. I just keep losing you guys. (laughs) I know. That is weird. I know. Well, I'm going to let you share just in case we lose you again. So tell us a little bit about your podcast. I know we're being a little jumpy, guys, but you know why. Because I know you have a podcast, too. So share that. I do. Yeah, my podcast is just, it's on creativity. So it's, as you read in my bio, it's kind of the stories that people tell on and about themselves and just sort of that creative process. And and not everybody I interview are artists. Some, Mm -hmm. you know, just have created a life that they love and creativity. It's just all about creativity. Yeah. How, how often do you release a new podcast? Do you do one every week or twice a month? What's your schedule? Yeah, I was doing one a week, but I had Hmm. so many people, you know, that I'd already recorded that in starting next year, which, Oh my God, we're in November. Um, starting next year, I'm going to go to twice a week. So yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of work. <laughs> right? It's a lot of work, isn't it? <laughs> they keep coming, so I, I'm not going to turn them away if they're going to give us a good yeah, story. Exactly. I mean, that's the one thing about podcasts compared to live radio. So, if a podcast we drop you, we can always, like, you guys oh wouldn't know gosh. that. But on live radio, it just is what it is. <laughs> But that's life. Y'all are I mean, brave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's life. You can't take things. People take things too seriously. And that's part of the problem of us not having any fun, right? Like, mm-hmm. we can't take mm-hmm. everything that happens too seriously. I mean, shit happens. So you just kind of go with it. <laughs> well, I think that's a perfect example, right? So how do, you, mm-hmm. how do you take what you've been given, the shit that you've been given, and do something creative with it. So and, especially if you've had some tragedy in your life, oh what kind of artwork God. can you make from that? That's so healing. Yes. Yes. So healing. And I, I know an artist in particular that um, many of her, she does these massive paintings and they're just beautiful. And a mm. lot of them have come out of the traumas of her life. And they're just, oh my God, they're incredible. You know, but it's very yeah. healing for her. It's very healing. Yeah. And that's another thing. Yes, being creative is healing. Mm -hmm. Get it out of your body and out of your psyche and onto the page or into the marble, whatever you're doing. And and it helps other people heal because they'll see what you're doing and it taps Mm -hmm. into a part of themselves. It's that ripple effect still. Yeah, everything is a ripple effect. So you said you like to like 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 you were saying something about rituals, making it a ritual. Like, what is your weekly ritual? Like, I know you take the dog Merlin out, which I love the name Merlin, of course. Uh, yeah, no accident there, right? Or no. Um, yeah, so I know mean that's that. a daily practice with your camera. But like, do you? want to paint a couple times a week? Do you, you know, my neighbor is a painter and he paints every day in the afternoon for at least three to four hours. That is his thing every single day. Yeah. Yeah. I have to Mm -hmm. say going out into nature is more than once a day. That's like every couple of hours to take a break. That's, that's how I take a break. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not because I've worked for myself for so long. I don't have a really structured Mm -hmm daily yeah. practice I have more of a seasonal one so sometimes oh, okay. of the year I really have to buckle down and, and produce work and the rest of the time it's like oh what do I feel like today a little free flowing which I personally find very very nice <laughs> yeah that part is of, nice. part of my play <laughs> yeah what is a seasonal ritual I like that um, you do oh. certain things in the winter like what does it look like because I remember I, I live in a place that has no seasons Oh, right. we, we don't have seasons and that's, I, and that's and I have a very 
big longing for season. So I, I know oh, a move I, is coming. I a move is a move is coming. <laughs> a move is coming. I've been saying it for a while. It's coming. I can feel it. Definitely. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Well, we live someplace where a, um, you know a lot of the art shows are outside, so there's not a lot in the winter. Mm -hmm. We have the build up for the holidays. So, so really, the, when I'm out in front of the public, I don't know if that's very seasonal. I'm in the gallery that morning around in the sales season. We're just here to sell more. So I really yeah. drew up towards that. And I feel like it's an off season. I do have to, you know, kind of expand the flame of my other creative interests or expand the work I'm already doing or create businesses. Wow, you're going, I don't know, you're going in and out again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it was just going, can, can, did, you, did you hear it? Did you hear yourself at all, Hayden, that you were going in and out or no? Hello? I think I may have yeah. lost her again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have a really, um, really bad connection. It goes like, you sound really good, and then all of a sudden, either you disappear or you sound like very spotty. And I don't know if that's the location of hmm, where you're I calling have never, from. I've lived in the house 20 years, and I've never had a problem. <laughs> no so way. Today, you, it's special. <laughs> I know. Is it a cell phone or a house phone? Cell phone. Yeah, I haven't oh, not, had a health phone Now you sound all. better. Now you sound I know, better. now it's good. Yeah, don't I'm going to go with Christopher's <laughs> idea that, of solar flares. <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> That's yeah. good. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> don't move. Don't breathe. <laughs> um, you said probably something really beautiful about the seasonal I'm sure things. I did. And I missed it all. I don't know if you want to repeat it. I'm afraid to ask you to I, repeat not. it. I'll repeat it without moving. Um, okay. Yeah, since since I live someplace where sales seem to, you know, be more heightened certain times of year, I do art shows certain times of year, mm -hmm. and you kind of gear up towards that. And the rest of the time, I just take time playing, maybe mm -hmm. in my medium that I'm working on and selling or in other mediums, which also feed my creative juices. So. Yeah. Hmm. You know, yeah. Yeah, you're going in and out again. All of a sudden, it starts. It's so crazy. I don't know what's going on, guys. Honestly, this it's just weird. I swear, I think she's floating. <laughs> I think she's floating above us all. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, I, when you're selling your work, yeah, and especially if you live somewhere where it's you have the cold weather, you're limited at those, those times or more, you know, probably more. You're probably creating more when it's the colder months, I would think, and then you're displaying more when it's the warmer months. Yes? Yep. No. I don't hear. Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, we have no sound. I don't know. Hayden, I'm so sorry. <laughs> At least we got most <laughs> the beginning of the show. <laughs> we heard you good. I don't know what happened. Um, definitely going to have to... Wait, hello. Can I hear? Can now, I, yeah. now I can hear you, but you're really broken. I I don't know what's going on. Never had I don't problem. either. I don't either. We're uh, gonna. I'm. We're gonna have to have you come back so we can. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? I didn't. I didn't even move. She said not to move. I didn't move. Um. Well, good thing you're excellent at ad libbing. So well done, you two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel bad, but we'll have to have you come back on again. Is there anything that you really oh. want us to know? Just you know, because we only have a few minutes anyway. Just in case I, you go out again. Yeah, I just want people to tap into what makes them happy and do more of that. And if if you need to find people to do that with, then go out and find some community and just be happy. Find ways to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And for, for everyone, happiness is different. You know, mm -hmm. everybody has a different and everybody has a different um, creativity language. You know, my mm -hmm. one dear friend, her, her creativity is in her cooking. She's an yeah. artist in the kitchen and her food, is filled with love and you can feel it when you eat it. It's mm. just, you know, delicious, you know. That's not where mine may lie. Somebody's maybe in writing 
or painting or knitting or photography or dance. I, I mean, it could be anything. And, and really the whole point of the show was just finding what your inner artist is. That's what we wanted to get across. Which I think we did, even though you were, <laughs> you were going in and out of here at the end. I think we did. Yeah, I think we lost her again. Mm. Well, guys who have been listening, um, I really appreciate your patience. Uh, the first 45, I think the first 40 to 45 minutes we got, we were good. So, you know, you can hear the show again and you can listen to Hayden talk about who she is and her Create Tricks compass. And you can see all about her and her work. Unfortunately, at the end, we have gone a little wonky and it happens. Like I said, we're live and it happens. Um so nothing we can do about it. But if you want to find out more about Hayden, you can go to her website. And I highly recommend you do. Um, it's, I'll say it again, it's Creatrix with an X, compass.com. So I'll spell it. It's C-R-E-A-T-R-I-X-C-O-M-P-A-S-S dot com. And you can find out all about her and listen to her podcast. And I want to thank you, Hayden, for being here with me today. Um, so sorry about the, you know, disconnect thank you. at the end. Oh, yay, there you are. <laughs> I know, I, I come back for the ending. And I love the word wonky, so well done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. Thank you for listening to Postcards <laughs> oh. to the Universe with Melissa, creating the life you crave. And I'm wishing everyone a wonderful week filled with joy, abundance, and love. Peace. Peace.